Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. Here we're gonna give you a C program and we're gonna ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then you know we're gonna explain the output. So all you need to do is pause this movie, take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then uh, come up with the output of this program. Once you have an answer, just click on the play button and I'm gonna explain the output. All right, now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. What we're gonna do is we're gonna um, build and run this program. So build and run and we're gonna get the answer as two. So now why the heck we're gonna get the answer two? In this program, first we have uh, defined a function called one, which is not gonna take any parameters and uh, it's not gonna return any values. And then we have the function two and the function three. And then here inside this main function with this statement, we are declaring an array of pointers called PTR, which contains the pointers to the functions, which are not going to take any parameters and not going to return any values. So here this PTR is going to be an array of pointers to the functions and that functions are not going to take any parameters and they will not return any values. And then what we are doing is, we are initializing the first element of the PTR pointers array with the address of function one. All of you know that everything will be stored in some memory location. And similarly, you know, these functions are going to be stored in uh, some memory locations. And with these statements, we are storing the functions addresses in this array of pointers PTR. So in the first element, we are storing the address of the function one and then in the second element we are storing the address of the function two and in the third element we are storing the address of the function three and then what we are doing is by using this ptr array of pointers we are calling a function so here this ptr pointers second element you know the index starts from zero second element is containing the address of the function two. So this statement will call the function two. It's like we are gonna have a function call here. For example, it's like uh, two, you know, just the call to the function two. But here we are using this array of pointers. And you know, this statement will be exactly similar to this statement. So uh, that's why, you know, uh, just gonna be calling the two function and the contents which are inside that two function will be executed. You know, we have only print a function and we have uh, returned the string two and that will be printed out. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my website learninglight.com for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next tutorial.